right. And the people that are, the Israelites we've tried to convince that he isn't right are now following him. See? Read. Verse 16. And Yeshia, when he had found a young donkey, sat up there, thereon as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh sitting on a donkey's mm. skull. He fulfilled what was written of him in the Old Testament. See? Are you following me here? Come on. Verse 16. These things understood not his disciples at the first, but when Yeshia was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him and they and that they had done these things unto him. So eventually, at, when it happened, the disciples really couldn't understand it until after the Holy Spirit would come down on them and give them full understanding. And I'm going to show you how important that Sabbath is and understanding that Passover and that first fruits. Because at that time, all things became clear to Peter and the disciples. But not putting the cart before the horse. Elder Lawyer, I mean, Elder Gabar, I'm just yep. saying Elder Lawyer, I'm sorry. Okay. Matthew 21 now. Matthew 21 and 9. Precepts. Christ lasts seven days. And the multitudes that went... Hold on, let me, let me put the mic there for you. because. Absolutely. So I'm, in, I'm in Matthew 21 and 9. And yes. the multitudes went before and that that followed, crying, saying, Hosanna, the son of David. Now we all know now that this is between the week before Christ's crucifixion. Right? And now here's that same scene five days before the Passover. Within that last seven days. Read. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And, and when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? Who is this? Go on. And the multitude said, This is Yeshia, the prophet of Nazareth, mm. of Galilee. <laughs> come on. And Yeshia went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in, and bought in the temple mm. and overthrew the tables of the money changers. Now, now you see why they wanted to kill Christ before Sabbath. He's raising people from the dead. The whole week he did this. It, within that week, all of this is going on. Flipping tables. <laughs> Don't forget, this is the highest business within Jerusalem for the year. Mm -hmm. Israelites are coming from the four corners of the earth. And now the money changers are there selling sacrifices mm -hmm. on God's people during the time of the Passover. Mm -hmm. So he's disrupting the whole thing for the week. Mm -hmm. People are going there, money changing, sitting there for the for the Passover and all that. Saying, and these guys are price gouging all types of stuff mm -hmm. against God's people, right? against the Israelites. Right. And, and just to add to what they're no, saying... On is that to give you a backdrop when you used to be an Israelite in the diaspora and you had to go to Jerusalem and you had a lot of things to sacrifice and to bring to or to support the fam you know to for the eating and the feasting there was a law that if you your destined your, your your journey was too long you change your sacrifice and your offering into money and then when you get to Jerusalem you change it back to actual wines you know things exactly. that you need yeah. So what was happening is, is that the Jews, the Pharisees, and the way they used to measure money back then was to scale. So what they were doing is they were manipulating the scale mm. to give you back uh, less money than what you really owe, less material, less wine, mm. less sheep, and things of that nature. So you have to pull out more money to just support oh, yourself. That's yeah, why, that's right. deep. You understand? That's why right. when we go into the, the scriptures, I think in the book of Amos, we talked about how soon would the... The uh, the sound will be over the new moon, so we right. could deceive our people through right. the scale. Right. That right. was a tradition that the Pharisees were doing all. They were that was a many ah. a, 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 a day they, they were making money. Right. They use right. all, the, that week. So they was fixing the scales right. to make money off of the people. I bet of the people. And when the Bible says we must give a just weight for a, a just, just measure, measure, they right. was breaking that law. Right. Sounds familiar. Sounds mm -hmm. like what we see today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why he flipped those tables. And so he flipped the tables. So that happened the same day that he came into the city. And, you know, when it says Susanna, Susanna, after six days will be the fifth day leading to exactly. the Passover. Now, just imagine, mm. just, just imagine the steam that's behind Christ right now. It's only, it's, it's, it's the most high showing forth his full power mm -hmm. right before Christ is crucified. Not only is he raising people from the dead, Lazarus, <clears throat> the reputation is going throughout all of Jerusalem. He goes the next day and rides on a donkey fulfilling the scriptures with all the people celebrating here, yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna, Savior, he's the one. Mm -hmm. And then he rides in the town and turn over the tables of those who are preparing to steal for the Passover. That's five days going in. Yeah, there's more here. Come on, let's go. And it says, and the seats of them that sold dove, and said, un and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. You have made my house of prayer a den of thieves. Now let's get back on this chronology now because we're here at the fifth day mm -hmm. before Passover. And to show you the, one Go more ahead. scripture oh, that I think it to be profound in verse 15 it says, and when the chief priest and the scribe saw the wonderful things that he did Go on. and the children crying in the temple mm -hmm. and saying Hosanna to the son of David they were sore displeased. They were sore displeased. So that's the reason they were like, okay, this guy's uh, coming in. All the intentions on him, people turning into him, we have to do something about it. That exactly. happened that whole week. Exactly. So you're looking at what? This happened between Sunday sundown and Monday sundown. Yeah. This particular prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to Mark. 14, 1 and 2. See? We had, we had Mark 14, 1 and 2. And I need you to get uh, um, uh, Elder Gabar, mm -hmm. Matthew 26 and 2. Matthew 26 and 2. And I need you to get Elder Lloyd, <laughs> mm -hmm. get two of them. Mm -hmm. Get Mark 14, since you're already in 14. We're going to hit Mark 14 and 12 and edify and give understanding there also. Right? Now, let's get Mark 14 and 1, Elder Lawyer. Yes, sir. St. Mark chapter 14, verse 1. Come on. After two days was the feast of the Passover. So we know this is two days before the Passover now. The Pharisees and scribes are peeved. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He turned over our tables. Read. And of unleavened bread. And unleavened bread. So this is two days before hand. This is between Wednesday and Thursday, sundown now. See? We're, we're, we're into the thick of this week now. Read. Uh, verse number, or the rest of verse 1. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. And say, said what? And the chief priest and uh, the chief priest and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. They sought how they would take him by craft through deceit and put him to death. Now, mind you, their plan, they, they've been consulting for a good minute, but they have to make sure it's not on the Passover. Right? Come on. Verse 2, but they said, not on the feast day. Not on the what? Not on the feast day. But not on the feast day, read. Lest there be an uproar of the people. Because all the people right now love him. They're behind him. We cannot do this between Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. You got that? Now, Elder Gabar, yeah. 
Matthew 26 and 2. Matthew 26 and 2. This Come on. This is Yeshaya's and I need verse. you to go to the 12th verse next. Mm -hmm. I'll start at 1. And it came to pass when Yeshaya had finished all, all, all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover. You know, now, the same time the Pharisees are dealing with this, he's talking to his disciples now. You know, in two days, read. And the Son of Man. No, read it again. In two days is the feast of the Passover. Is the feast of the Passover. Read. And the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. I am to be betrayed and crucified. Read. And then assemble together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the, unto, unto the place, unto the palace of the high priest. And who is called Caphius. Come on. And consult that they might take Ishaya by subtlety. By subtlety. And kill him. And kill him. Read. But they said, not on the feast day. Read it again. Not on the feast day. Not on the feast day. Lest there be an uproar among the people. Come on. And when Ishaya was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, then came unto him a woman. Having an alabaster box. Now, when he was in Bethany, that goes back to what? They're going back to that sixth day, because mm -hmm. that Bethany is where he raised Christ. He raised Lazarus from the dead. So we're gonna go backward. Yeah. But I'm just showing you the chronology here. Mm -hmm. Right. So hold that. Hold what you got, Elder, yep. Elder Gabar. Yep. I need you to get St. John 13 and hold that. St. John 13. Okay. Right. And I'm going to get Eastward up here to give y'all some understanding from a school vantage point, right? And a lot of you, 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 some of you don't be going good in that Hebrew and Bible Academy. I can't stress that enough. I'm sure you'll think twice after seeing this particular lesson and why it's important, right? Elder Lawyer. Yes, sir. Let's go now. What, what scripture? You at Mark 14, right? Yes, sir. 14, 12. Okay, let's get it. Um, one moment. Hold on. Let me grab it here for the brothers and sisters who are watching. Okay. Mark 14 and 12. All right. You all can see that there? Let me uh, widen it for you here. On Eastward. You should see it clear there. One moment. Let me put it up here so you can see it. There it is. Mark.